Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, let's talk a bit about in terms of uh, three signs a stock might be a good long-term investment, right? So what kind of signs you need to see to make you say, hey, you know what? Uh, this stock is actually going to be a great long-term investment. So let's get into it. Uh, first thing first, you need to be able to describe it, what the business does in a few sentences, right? How the company make actually makes money. Right. A lot of inexperienced investors, they actually go and risk their money in buying ownership in companies they don't know, they don't understand, right? Uh, so you want to go and, go and buy invest in, in companies like, for example, Apple, you know, they make money in computers, um, so in laptops, phones, right, it's through the App Store, three main core businesses that you can clearly define. Netflix, Netflix makes money by streaming services, right? Uh, Google has the ad revenue, which is one of the main criteria. Facebook, same thing, ad revenue. So something where you can easily describe how does the company actually goes and makes money, right? If you have too complicated stuff going on, chances are you don't understand, chances are you shouldn't be invested in it. Next thing I wanna take a look at in terms of are the company's products or services, do they have any kind of a competitive advantage, right? When you look at Apple, Google, and Netflix, I mean, Apple, there's really no competition because people use Apple products as more of a luxury brand. Um, and people who are Apple users, they'll just remain to be Apple users, right? No matter what other company comes up. Uh, for in terms of Google, in terms of search engine, when you go into any browser, when you want to do search, you will always go and Google it, right? You'll search it. Uh, the other thing in terms of Netflix is uh, a lot of subscribers in terms of the cable subscribers are cutting the cables nowadays. Main reason being is people are not really spending time a lot on watching cables. They are usually on Netflix. Right, so they do have. So you want to take a look at do the do the product or service that you have. Does it have a competitive advantage? Right. So that's what you want to take a look at. Next, you want to take a look at in terms of strong balance sheets. Now, why is that important? Uh, when you I'll take a look at a couple of balance sheets to make you understand. You want to see if the company is able to uh, survive any difficult economic or industry conditions, something like the recession of 1929 or the market crisis of 19. Uh, to the, uh, 2008, right, at the tech bubble, do you have the companies which can withstand? So I'm on this site, uh, which is finance.yahoo.com, right? So if I pull up Apple stuff, right, uh, what I'm really looking at is, let me zoom this, right? So when I zoom out, uh, if you take a look at this, um, right, so you look at this, uh, if you want to take a look at the balance sheet, so you want to take a look at, hey, you know what, is this company actually making any money, right? So if you see, you know what, in 2016, May 215, now it made about 229, uh, profits are pretty good. Uh, so this is really the income statement that you're looking at. You can take a look at the balance sheet, see what your assets are. The assets, I mean, 15, 16, 17, I mean, you see this rise, right? From 68, it went to 128 so pretty substantial number of assets um, again once again it's pretty substantial again right so a lot of uh, assets is being built up right uh, if you want to take a look at something like say Google um, so if you want to take a look at the balance sheet let's try to bring that up. Um, if you look at the balance sheet of Google, once again, substantial growth in assets, right? Substantial growth in assets. Uh, liabilities are fairly there, but if you look at these assets are just gigantic, right? So if things go south, they do have the money to uh, cover these liabilities. This liabilities is 24183, this is 197. They have more than enough money to do it. Uh, if you want to take a look at, say, even, say, Netflix, right? Uh, looking at their balance sheets, I mean, they didn't really make much money for, but now when you start making it, I mean, substantial assets, right? In this situation, if you take a look at it, assets are almost doubled, right? Their liabilities are fairly, liabilities are doubled as well, but if something goes south, you know what, they have more than enough money to cover for their liabilities, right? So that's when you need to look at it. So those are three signs uh, that we look for uh, in terms of uh, long-term investing. First is, can you describe the company? Next is, uh, in terms of products or services, if they have any competitive advantage, last but not the least, you definitely want to have a company which has strong balance sheets for them. Uh, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. You have a good one.